video, I'm showing you how to install Windows 11 in a MacBook that has M1 chip. I'll use VirtualBox to do this before you can't do this because you can't install a VirtualBox in a MacBook that has M1 or M2 chips, which are the new chips built by Apple. But now you can do this because they released a new version of their software and I'll do this today. This is the beta version of the VirtualBox, but I'll try it and we will install a Windows 11 on it. You can install any other operating system, it doesn't matter, but I'll install Windows 11 today you can install Windows 10 Linux or Ubuntu or any other operating system okay let's get started with this video without losing any more time the first thing is to download a Windows 11 ISO file and to do this just go to website and you can find the link of the description if you don't find it this is the website to download uh, Windows 11 and just go below and click on this download Windows 11 disk ISO for x64 devices uh, select uh, Windows 11 multi edition and click on download then uh, choose your language I'll choose English United States then click on confirm then here click on 64-bit download and this will directly start to download Windows 11 ISO I will uh, cancel this because I already have this downloaded on my downloads uh, folder and here is a Windows 11 is about 5.5 uh, gigabytes and then the second thing is to download virtual box for the M1 or M2 chips so just go to the website of a download uh, you can find the link on the description again and here is the page and to, to download it for the Mac OS which has M1 or M2 chips here is the link is the third one just click on download preview for uh, Mac OS this is a preview version of the and the beta version as I told you before but this is still going to work and uh, if it doesn't work just wait for the updates and then it will work again so here it is downloading and I'll wait until it's downloaded now it, it's downloaded and what I have to do is just to click on the DMG file and in this window what you have to do is just to uh, drag this virtualbox.pkg into the applications folder just drag it and drop it uh, inside the applications folder and I already have one I will replace it so just to show you because I'll, I have already installed it before and now what I have to do is to go to the applications folder go to finder and then go to applications and here you have to scroll down until you see virtualbox.pkg so just double click click on this and then the installer will open for you then click on continue and click on install put your password of your MacBook and then it will install the virtual box for your M1 chip so here is in successfully installed and here I have virtual box you can all quickly open it by using spotlight search so just search for a virtual box and here it is going to open here is the virtual box for uh, your operating system and which is in the MacBook and the M1 chip or M2 chips It's not for Intel and for Intel is going to work normally but uh, here is for for M1 chips. As you can see here, it shows beta version because this is still on beta. What you have to do now is to create a new machine. So just click on create new and here put a name. I'll, I'll name it Windows 11. And then uh, click on ISO image. Here you have to click on drop down and click on other. Then here you have to go to downloads and choose the Windows 11 ISO that we downloaded before. So we'll click on open. And then in addition, this is a multi edition uh, ISO. So you can choose any edition of the Windows 11 you want. And uh, for now, I'll choose a uh, Windows 11 uh, Pro. Yeah, I'll lose, I'll choose a Pro version. You can choose any of any version you want then make sure to don't check this box here skip unintended installation because this is telling it that we want to make the installation manually but we don't want this because I want this to be automatically and just install Windows automatically and then it will start automatically everything so uh, I'll uncheck it and click on next and in this window you have to choose a username for your Windows computer or your new Windows operating system so I'll just type my name and then I'll choose the password put any password you want just to repeat it two times and then here if you have a product key for your windows you can put it here but I don't currently have one so I'll leave it like this and I'll click next and then you have to choose your base memory which is the RAM and I recommend you to to choose four or eight gigabytes of RAM but this depends on how many RAM you have on your MacBook so I have an eight gigabyte RAM so I'll choose just about uh, six gigabyte of RAM and then the processors you have to choose uh, two 
or more and you can choose how many you want depends still on uh, your cpu of your macbook i have 16 core cpus so i'll choose about uh, six of them then click on next again and then you can create a virtual disk by default it's uh, 80 gigabytes which is good you can do it more or less but i will leave it 80 gigabytes so everything else is uh, good so i'll click next and finish okay the virtual machine is now created and what you have to do is just to select it and then click on settings and here on settings you have to go to system and make sure to uncheck enable efi or special os is only uncheck this option and click on ok now you just have to start the virtual machine click on start and this will start up the virtual machine and run the windows 11. so if you see this problem here the dvd or mount is not finding the the ISO file, what you have to do is just click the drop down and click on other and then go to downloads again and in Windows 11 choose the ISO file then click on open and mount and retry boot. This is going to reboot again and this will start the installation. Now okay guys now the installation of the Windows 11 will start and it's working perfect so hopefully you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.